Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk about sharing and permissions on SharePoint. So SharePoint uh, has hierarchies. They're called site collections, but there's no hierarchy of site collections. There's no top site collection, no sub site collections. There's no such thing. They're all in a list or on the same level. So if you want to share permissions between different site collections, you should create groups. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So in this scenario, I have a shared company HQ site collection. I also have an IT for the IT department and a sales site collection for the sales department. And of course, I could go into each and every one of these. So let's I can go into sales and start sharing. And then I could add people to this. But if I then want to reuse the sales department people in another site collection, say I have a sales promotion site collection that I want to create, that the sales department people should also, then I have to add each and every one of them again, which is of course trouble. So what I want to do instead is create a group with the sales employees that I can reuse in many places. So I'm going to go into the admin site. I'm going to open that in a new tab. Find the groups. Let's actually find the active users also. I'm going to open that in a new tab also. Let's just open that there. Open that in a new tab. I just copied the URL there. And there we go. I find the active users. And here I want to find the groups. So what I want to do now is I want to create a new group. And this is going to be manage permission to share documents. So for SharePoint and OneDrive. Next, I'm going to call that sales employees. And the description could be just the same. And then I'm going to add Anna and Antonio to that. Let's see. It didn't work so well. We have a bug there. All right, let's try to add them afterwards. Edit members. Anna, that works better. And Antonio, they're in the sales employees group now. And then I can go in and add them here. So I'm going to share. I'm going to share with the sales employees. So that concludes my demo on how to create groups for SharePoint permission management in Office 365. Thank you for watching.